once again, the integrity of Major League Baseball's umpiring system has been marred after home plate umpire Jerry Meals made one of the worst calls ever made in sports during a 19-inning marathon game between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. In the bottom of the 19th inning, with men on second and third, Braves batter Scott Proctor, a pitcher by the way, hit a ground ball to Pirates third baseman Pedro Alvarez. Alvarez, seeing the man on third, Julio Lugo, take off for home, threw the ball to catcher Michael McHenry, who applied the tag on Lugo's leg. Instead of calling Lugo out, Meals called him safe. As a result, the Braves won the game. After viewing that play, I was thinking, how the hell do you miss that call? Meals was standing right on top of the play, and he still missed the call. I can understand now why Pirates manager Clint Hurdle went absolutely crazy afterward. His team lost a game because of an idiotic call. I am truly frustrated and fed up with umpires making blatantly horrible calls. And I think that this is an indication that, Bud Selig, cover your ears, because baseball needs to expand the use of instant replay. Too many games, especially over the past couple of years, have been decided on missed calls by umpires. Last year, Armando Galarraga was robbed of a perfect game when first base umpire Jim Joyce called the runner safe at first instead of out on what would have been the final out of the game. Earlier this year, Kerry Wood of the Cubs executed a perfect pickoff move to nail pinch runner Brett Hayes at second base in a one-run ball game against the Florida Marlins. Instead of calling the runner out, second base umpire Lance Barrett called Hayes safe. Eventually, Hayes scored, and the Marlins went on to score two more runs in that inning en route to a win over the Cubs. Three years ago, Major League Baseball instituted the use of instant replay for strictly home run calls. Like, was the ball fair or foul, or did the, did the fan reach over the wall to catch the ball, or was the ball actually over the wall? That kind of thing. However, the track record over the past couple of years proves that instant replay must be expanded. The main concern that traditionalists like Bud Selig have with the expansion of replay is that it will create more delays in a game that is already long, and that it will take away the human element of the game. What the traditionalists should be concerned about is getting the calls right, no matter how long it takes. However, since time management of replays is a pressing issue, I have a foolproof plan that should put all worries to rest. Replay should only be extended to base calls, fair or foul balls, and trapped balls. Balls and strikes should of course be left to the discretion of the home plate umpire, and his word is indisputable. The actual challenge process would be a hybrid of the NFL and the NHL's review systems. Each team would get one redeemable challenge for the whole game. If a team challenges successfully, that team has the ability to use the challenge again. If a team challenges unsuccessfully, however, that team has no more challenges for the rest of the game. Now, to eliminate the excruciatingly long process of waiting for the umpires to walk into and out of the home team's clubhouse to get to the replay booth that they use for home run calls nowadays, the umpires would use a telephone located in the home team's dugout to call a group of people who are looking at every single play of every single game happening that day. They would converse until a decision has been made. That way, there will be no disputing umpires after the decision is made. No more arguing with the umpires after the call has been made from that off-site location where those people are looking at all the replays. Sounds like a pretty quick and painless way to correct a, a potential mistake, don't you think? Maybe if Meals utilized this system, the replay people would have told him, Hey! He got the tag down! Lugo is actually out! He is not safe! He is out! Now that you've heard me talk about all these ways that machines can aid humans officiate a baseball game, I want to make something very clear. 
I do not think that umpires are completely incompetent. Most of the time, they are right. But, they have a duty to get the calls right, even if it means swallowing their pride and correcting their mistakes. Every major sport, including the NBA, the NFL, and the NHL, has full access to instant replay. Even Little League Baseball used it in the Little League World Series this past year. So why shouldn't Major League Baseball have instant replay? Each of the aforementioned sports have taken full advantage of the superior technology at their disposal. And now, baseball must do the same in order to make sure officials like Jerry Meals don't look absolutely stupid. And they also must take advantage of this technology to protect the integrity of America's pastime.